What's up guys? Spiderbot here. We got a little Clash of Clans update. I know I've been uh, lacking in the update department. I said, what did I say? Three times a week? Yeah, that's kind of... <laughs> it's Christmas time. What are you going to do? It's Christmas time. I've been busy, man. Seriously, I've been busy. I've been busy doing a lot of stuff. Anyways, wanted to come back and uh, show you a little bit of progress. I've been doing some raids. I'm up to um, 1,518 trophies right now. Is that about around 50, 1550? kind of want to keep it above 1500 maybe between 1500 and 1600 or in and around there seems to be for some uh some good rating in around that uh, trophy level maybe a bit higher to get more dark elixir but uh they did come out with a uh a little uh no not here a little uh gift here well it's not really a gift because you're using your gems but you know how they had the boosting for just the elixir and the uh the barracks well now they've added in boost anything for only one gem Okay, so I've been boosting my gold because I don't honestly my elixir all I have left to upgrade uh, is one barracks and I think my research and that's you know pretty much it so I don't need a whole lot of elixir because I'm going to get that as I raid it's the gold that I need so I've been boosting my gold uh, my gold mines so twice the uh, the generation of gold or the mining of gold as well as my dark elixir collector but Again, even with the Dark Elixir Collector, you're going to get way more by raiding than you are here on Town Hall Level 8, right? Okay, so I wanted to go through um, at least one attack I did and one really surprising defense where I just got completely wiped out by these units. And I didn't think they were as powerful as they were because I hear people saying all the time, like, they suck. But no, they, oh man, they wipe me out big time. It obviously doesn't help, though, that I'm currently upgrading, I believe... What, three? Yeah, three of my defenses. So I have uh, a hidden Tesla here that I'm upgrading, so it's inoperable on defense. Another hidden Tesla and my uh, air defense. Now, the air defense really doesn't matter in this uh, particular attack, but uh, regardless, yeah, the two hidden Teslas were the ones that were being upgraded at the time. So let's take a look at, at, at least one attack that I had. Um, and this is, you know, if we look at my attack history, so go right down to the bottom. I mean, I search for those bases that have high resources to obtain. And I try to also skip ones where I'm going to lose trophies. I've been trying to really keep a, a close eye on the bases that I can not only attack to get a lot of resources, but also at least one star the base. So the majority of these attacks are, are one starring the base, except for this one, um, this, uh, this versus Adam. Apparently Adam had a pretty good defense. So that, oh, actually there's another one there too. So TC. So I got to keep an eye on that. I don't want to drop too many trophies. I mean, that combined, that was, what, uh, 37, 37 trophies I dropped right there. So that's not good. That's not good. Because if I'm one-starring bases, it's going to take me uh, at least maybe five or six bases to one-star in order to get those trophies back. So that, here's one that's um, the, uh, the replay. I'm going to play this for you. Mickey. I attacked Mickey. But the base, you know, I don't think they've really been on. They were online a whole lot. Um, so they had a lot of uh, resources collected, not o you know, not only in the storages, but also in the uh, the gold mines and the elixir collectors. So I mean, I completely wiped this base out. I mean, this hardly any upgraded uh, defenses here. <clears throat> I mean, we got low level wizard towers uh, or wizard tower. We got uh, low level pretty much everything. Apologize for the, uh, the phone ringer. I gotta turn that ringer off. And uh, I just went to town, so I completely wiped this base. But again, it's the resources that I'm looking for. I mean, look at the resources. I can three-star, if I can three-star base and get 200,000 plus gold and elixir, then it's a good day. I usually look for more gold and elixir. Uh, I, I've been going for 300,000 plus uh, in some of these raids. And there's 100%, so we just return home. So if I can get 300,000 plus then that's also a good raid, right? So this one against TC, 336,000 Elixir. The one against GG wasn't that great. Uh, or Adam. I think there's uh, at least one more down here. I mean, 292,000. We got 264, 256. So not too bad, not too bad. The the 300 plus ones are difficult to find. Okay, so let's take a look at this defense that really surprised me. And it's this one versus Lee. Lee attacked me with 15 goblins. 24 archers now they're all the goblins are level five level six archers nine level six giants and 14 level five uh hog riders those guys are the hog riders and he's got a level six healing spell 
So watch this replay. And I've I've had people I've had people um, just complain to me. I apologize about the sound. I know it was pretty loud. Sorry about that. Um, so I've had people apologize, or not apologize, but I'm sorry. I was apologizing because of the sound. But uh, um, people say that the hog riders are like not very good. The the hog riders suck. They they're they're not very good troops. Don't train them. Whatever. So level five. I mean that's pretty well upgraded, right? Let's just take a look at this guy's base. I mean he's got a pretty decent base. Um, so he's you know level nine and he's got his hog rider like upgraded completely. He's level eighteen on his archer queen. And where is his? I can't. Where is his barbarian king? I don't know. Oh, his barbarian king. So he's level 10. So he's been doing quite well on the uh, the Dark Elixir, right? So he's obviously upgraded his his troops, at least the Hog Riders, to level 5. So let's check out this replay and watch these Hog Riders just completely destroy me. These Hog Riders just destroy me. Watch. Okay, so he puts in just a couple of troops just to see where things are. I think he's trying to uh, attract my uh, Barbarian King. So he drops a troop in close. He drops some troops in down by my town hall. Takes my Barbarian King down there. And then he takes him out with a bunch of archers. Very, very good attack. Very, very good attack strategy. And then he goes to town. Look at those hog riders. Okay? Look at those hog riders just absolutely destroy me. Level 5 hog riders. I don't even know if I killed a single one. I think I did. But it's just insane. Those hog riders at the top are actually getting taken down. But... Look at them just go and destroy, completely destroy my defenses. I got no defenses left. That's 14 hog riders. Yeah, exactly. They are one of the best. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, I was surprised, though, because I've never used them. I, I haven't upgraded any of my Dark Elixir troops other than the minions, and I've never really used them. But after seeing this attack, I'm like, holy sh Yeah, holy crap. I mean, these, these freaking hog riders just went to town, and they completely wiped me out, like 100%. And, and I'm not talking, you know, it was close. It wasn't close. It was nowhere being close. It was like he completely destroyed me. So I'm, I, I definitely want to look into that. Um, if I look at my research, I mean, like I said, I've only upgraded my minions to level 2. I don't have anything for the hog riders, right? So there's the hog rider. It's Mr. T riding on a pig. It's great. <laughs> but they jump walls and they go after defenses. So, you know, it's pretty solid. And I uh, haven't used the uh, the Valkyries at all either. So, anyways, I just wanted to share that with you. And uh, in the next few episodes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm, I'm going to do some speed runs. So, because we can boost everything, uh, I've got my armies, you know, I've got uh, a full army in my army camp right now. And I've got uh, my troops set to train. What I'm going to do is I'm go going to boost my barracks. So you can boost it with one gem for 45 minutes. And I'm just going to do attack after attack after attack. And I've got it down. It takes approximately six minutes to rebuild my entire army. If I boost every single barracks, it'll take me six minutes to reproduce my army. And then we'll just do another attack and we'll just keep attacking. And uh, I call it speed rating, I guess. Uh, so we're going to do some of that on the next few episodes here on Clash of Clans. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed, and uh, have a fantastic Christmas. It's Christmas Eve in the city. We'll uh, catch you next time. Spider out.